For more on this news, let's head down to Debbie Taylor here at Nats Park as we get going for the Marlins and the Nats. And Debbie, more on Justin Maxwell and Matt Chico and how Justin took the news last night. Well, Byron, I talked to Jim Riggleman today, and he told me it was really tough to send Justin Maxwell to Syracuse, but it's something that needed to be done. He said that Justin has really worked hard, and the Nationals appreciate that. And last night, Justin reacted to his return to Syracuse. We're going to bring up another pitcher and, uh, you know, run to a lot of right-handed pitching, so I guess they want the matchup with Bernie in right field. So, you know, they told me to go down there and get my bats. Do you feel, too, that because you have options that you're sort of the odd man out and you have to look at it as just an opportunity to play every day and take advantage of that? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the case, but, you know, just got to deal with it. I'm sure it doesn't make it any easier knowing that. Because, no, you know, when, when you feel like that, you can play at this level every day. Um, you know, that's, that's the worst part. But, you know, I got a job to do and I'm going to do it. You know, he works really hard. He... Um, He's out there early, taking early batting practice every day. He works on his defense. He's just a, a class individual on the ball club and all that. You, you want nothing but the best for him. But, um, you know, uh, just, again, this string of right-handed pitchers that we're facing, um, either him or Bernadine is going to sit. And uh, Bernadina being the left-handed hitter is getting most of the action. So it's, it's been too many days. Uh, we got to get Justin some at-bats, so he need to go down there and play. I don't have the history with Matt that some other people do in the organization. I guess a couple years ago, he, you know, 31 starts he got here, which is pretty impressive. Um, you know, that's kind of like what John Lannon's done the last couple of years. So, uh, you know, it's not that easy to go out there and do that. He must not have missed any starts, pitched very well. Um, Really, we just want to draw on that experience that he's had here in the big leagues. I did have a chance to talk to Matt this morning, and he told me that he is looking forward to this start. He feels healthy, and it'll be nice to go out there and pitch, feeling stronger than he did uh, since having the Tommy John surgery. Byron Ray, 